Hey guys, how you going? This is Storm. Welcome back. This is episode 28 of my single player Tivina world. Hope you guys are going awesomely well. Just enjoying my little sunrise here, you know, just after hard work working on our taverns slash hotels slash whatever you want to call this thing. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much all done now. Uh, there is a few extra things I have been working on, uh, just doing little tweaks and changes around the place since the last episode, but uh, nothing too drastic. Did work on this path a little bit here, just making this a little bit wider here, just expanding this down this way. And I think it blends in and transitions a little bit better when it's a bit more open like this. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy the way that turned out, so I've basically removed a bunch of dirt just here. And I've also extended this up and started trying to join this path all the way up to my main other path. So, this is where I'm going to join it, just down in there. I, I see you, I see you, trying to hide from me. Oh yeah. Hmm. I could have ruined my day. <laughs> yeah. Um, the path comes down to this little viewing deck. You know, that's pretty nice. You come out and come down here, watch the waves. Whoa! Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I honestly thought I had killed it <laughs> with my one arrow. This does have power. F it's got power four. Hmm. Oh, well. Looks like I've got to repair this. <laughs> um, but yeah, besides this... Um, let's take a look at what else I've worked on a little bit. So yeah, I've worked on this pathway. Basically, I'm thinking of joining it through here. I'm going to have to get rid of probably this tree just here. And yeah, it sort of zigzags up and joins up with the path up here. So I think that's a reasonably nice transition and I can still run around and... Yeah, I should be able to just sprint all the way down to where my uh, storage is now. Down here, so I don't have to get all these trees and leaves in my way and yeah I can sprint there all the, all the way now. So alrighty so what I think we'll do first here before we get on with the main episode how about we go ahead and repair this and then I think we should work on to something else so <laughs> there you go great love video editing. Okay so let's head on over to what I wanted to work on in this episode which is way down here and that is the control room for our beacon power Beacon thingy. I don't know. I don't even know what I call this, but it's basically where it's all my beacons, or well, most of my beacons are on my island just here, and it's basically where I need to come in and turn them on or off, so I can toggle these beacon powers on or off. So at the moment they're all on all the time. That's because I do have this little contraption within here, which is a good old mess now. Um, I don't think this redstone even works. Now I'm just paranoid of creepers. I, th I just thought I was seeing a creeper out there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can basically turn these on or off. Oh no, the redstone is still working. Oh, there we go. Thought I might have broken it all when I um, was basically putting in the, the pathway to get on, on top here, uh, where the tower is. But yeah, I'm thinking of moving all these switches and everything to the other side of the room. Because what I thought I could do is inside this tower, uh, let's just go up to the tower. Uh, this way, yep. Not lost my own island. Okay, so we come up here and what I thought we could do is just put in maybe like a trapdoor just here. Uh, right in the middle here. Um, in fact, do I have... No, I don't have the materials on me, but let's just take a peek. So I'll probably have to rewire some of these um, the redstone around here to make room for things. But what I thought I could do is just drop down here just to cruise down to the bottom. And when I get through to the bottom, in fact, I'll show you guys. Uh, so if I were to come down here, and this is where most of the redstone is, if I were to keep falling and fall down to here, I don't mind taking a bit of fall damage. But if I could land right on top of the pyramid, I think that could be pretty cool that I can easily access the pyramid. And then to get out of here, so I could probably get rid of all this stuff, but to get out, all I need to do is just come down here. There's this little pathway, little tunnel, uh, which is behind the waterfall here. And voila, there we go. We just pop out here on the in the path, so... I think that's what we're going to work on today, so I'm going to get the materials ready, and um, yeah, and we'll get on with our building. Okay, so I've got all my supplies on me now, I should have everything we'll need, hopefully. <laughs> Famous last words I know. But uh, what I think we'll do is we'll use an iron trap door to uh, basically open up this little path to fall down. And I thought the easiest way to uh, open up this iron trap door, because you need redstone to open up uh, this iron trap door. Um, is to just connect it to one of these side blocks because then hopefully I can just run the redstone uh, beneath these stairs here. So that's the plan. So we're going to have to 
All right, so what I think I'm going to do is just put buttons on these pillars because it kind of gets concealed and uh, it doesn't look too bad. It's made out of stone. So I should better stand here and hit one of these buttons and I can fall down. Um, and that will let me fall down onto the pyramid and from there I'll be able to access the control room. So what I think we need to do is figure out how I'm going to get the redstone to this trapdoor. It looks simple enough, but from memory, this is only one block. Whoops. Well, <laughs> Yep, it is only one block deep, so I have to think about how I'm going to get uh, the redstone to this block just here. Alrighty, so it's going to probably look a little bit messy. Um, I think this is underneath the button just here. Yep, I think that's the button is connected to these blocks. So what I'm going to have to do is just basically destroy this part here. And what have I got on me? Let's use some... Whoops, I didn't even grab it then. Let's grab some of these slabs. And so I'll need redstone on here. This is where, so the button will be powering this block. And from there, I need to figure out how I'm going to get the redstone down to this block. Now the, hmm. So, <laughs> how to do that? This should be underneath the stairs. It's kind of strange building upside down like this. Um, but I'm pretty sure this block here is connected to the outside where I can't just easily use that. Um, yeah. So I'm probably going to have to use uh, blocks like this to uh, put the redstone on and zigzag it around. But uh, yeah, it's going to take me a little while to just figure out all the little details. So I'm just going to skip ahead and voila, we'll have something built. So we're just about done here. That should be it for the redstone. I had to get rid of this button just here. Uh, there wasn't quite enough room, and um, yeah, this is only one block thick, so I didn't have a lot of room to play with. Uh, it certainly doesn't help when this isn't quite at ground level, so I couldn't uh, remove this block or this block. So just I had to get the redstone dust down uh, an extra block, so I had to invert the signal, and to invert both of them and have them both working together, yeah, not really worth it. So here we go, that should be it. This should now just easily open, there we go. So let's cruise on down. Um, and let's see if we can still fit. Oh, need to uh, ease off the carrots, I think. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we're down here, what I want to do in this room is basically just move all these levers from this side of the room to this side of the room. And I also want to be a bit creative inside this room here itself. So I'm going to basically tear down this wall and redesign this room, see how much I can get done. Uh, I've got a few ideas on what I want to do in this room, but uh, yeah, I think we'll need some TNT. So I've started to make some progress here. I've settled on a theme that I'm going to go for for this room, and I'm going to go with, surprise, surprise, a very dark and wet, damp looking theme in here, and yeah, I think... I think it'll look nice with some vines growing along the walls and I'll have water underneath this pyramid. In fact, I'm thinking of having uh, this pyramid half buried in the water itself. So perhaps this could be at the water height level or even this block here. Mm, actually, no, it'll be just this lower one will be inside the water itself. And yeah, I could probably put some glowstone or something. That's why I went down a couple of blocks here to make the water glow a little bit. And what I'm thinking of doing is basically setting up... Um, the item frames on this section just here and I'm going to make this like a little cave entrance uh, not obviously with the stone I'm going to use a whole bunch of different blocks but for now I'm just going to get the basic uh, location for the item frame so I can work around it um, and I'm thinking of doing something a bit different compared to this other side so here I just went straight horizontally so hmm I think whoever built this this temple this monument here uh, would probably be a bit more creative than that so how about we do something a little bit different um, hmm. how about, so I need six, what if I did just something like this, a little pattern like this maybe, how would that look, not too bad, now do I have any levers, no, and I don't even have any sticks, alright, so let's make some sticks, oops, I can't even craft these things, Get else, oh, I've got to have some cobblestone, there we go, I always get that around the wrong way, <laughs> Alright, so there we go, we've got some levers, and what I could do is probably put levers like this, maybe. So this lever would control the one above it, this one below it. Um, it's 
not as obvious and it's not as uh, symmetrical or as clean, but hey, these ancient times, these guys didn't make any sense. They just built stuff randomly. <laughs> Alrighty, so, yeah. I don't mind that. Doesn't look too bad. I think once I've got some vines, like, basically I really want to make this, ooh, that was a, that was a drop and a half. <laughs> and again, geez, double fail. What I want to do here is basically make this entrance a little bit, not really hidden, but overgrown. So I'll have vines coming off the walls here and I really, I will model this up and make it all nice and pretty, but it's going to take some time. And I'll probably use a mixture of blocks as well. But uh, yeah, I think something like that could look okay. I might even have water uh, coming into this section, actually. Hmm. So many ideas. But so little time. <laughs> so yes, and I'll uh, pretty much just have to uh, destroy all these nice clean walls and make it all rough and, I don't know, a little bit of uh, vines on the walls and some other blocks and get rid of this stuff, obviously. And yeah, I think, I think that'd be cool. So I'll need to get in behind here because I'll need to send uh, redstone for these uh, levers upwards vertically, similar to what I had here before. So I should have plenty of room for that. So I haven't really looked to see what's going to be back here or um, even above me. But, hmm. What could go wrong, hey? Oh. <laughs> I totally jinxed myself just then, I think. <laughs> I was just running back to get some slime blocks and yeah, fell in my own little lava trap. I think that's number four <laughs> that I've died down there now. Wow. Um, my inventory is totally full as well. So, yes. I do. <laughs> as much as I sound upset, I don't mind it whatsoever. Um, my pick was almost gone anyway, but yeah, I had a few other good tools, but... Hey, if I don't die, then I'll never keep using my diamonds, so... Yep. Gotta die every now and then. In fact, let's die again. Why not? It's just for the fun of it. <laughs> Alright, need to get regrouped. Alrighty, so I've managed to recover pretty much to where I was before I died in that fiery lava death. Um, but yeah. Got most of my stuff back. Well, in fact, I didn't get anything out of, out of the lava. I managed to um, collect a whole bunch of other stuff that I had around the place to continue on. So pretty much where I was, I've just made a bit of progress here on the redstone. Um, yeah, it turned out it's not as not as simple as I was hoping. Uh, it's a little bit cramped, even on this side. So I'm not sure if I made the best decision moving it from this side to this side. But hey, that's all right. At least we got to use TNT. <laughs> so let's take a look from behind here. So this is where I've just got the different... Uh, levers here sending their respective redstone signal vertically and I've just got this joining up to the various uh, pistons above here which controls whether or not the beacons uh, can see sunlight or not. So basically it turns them on or off. That's in a nutshell that's what happens. Uh, so it's pretty much all done. Um, each of these lines here will turn off the or turn on the respective uh, beacon. So when I go and remove all of these I should have five Do we have five? Yes, now we've got five beacons, all shining bright, and I've got all the uh, Varix uh, power boosts, um, which is pretty awesome. And I just need to connect up just the, the time sensor component over here. It's a little bit more complicated than it was on this other side here, just by the nature of where this redstone is coming up to connect to these various lines along here. And Basically what I need to do is send a redstone signal across all of these um, when it's meeting certain conditions just down in here. So it was a bit easy where it was, or the layout of the redstone before, but that's right, I'll make it work. So there's a fair bit of work to do to clean all this up. Um, I'm not going to have time to do that all in this episode, unfortunately. I've got to cut this one a little bit shorter than normal. Um, it's getting late and yep, I've got work first thing in the morning. So yes, I will be wrapping this up. So it's pretty much all done. I did want to show you guys just quickly the, if I can get out of here, but I can't. <laughs> In fact, I've got jump boost, don't I? Whee! Can I jump that? No. That was disappointing. I did just want to show you guys something uh, very quickly. So I did work on the inside of this um, between the last episode or last couple of episodes when we last worked on this tower thing. 
and this one. So we did her, we, I have added in, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I did add in these little uh, lights uh, through the leaves blocks here just to add a bit of light into this room. I just wanted to show you guys that and uh, basically stop mods from spawning inside this, uh, on the walkways here anyway. And up the top here, I did um, just clean this up a little bit, make it a little bit nicer. Got this thing full of um, fireworks at the moment, so these things should just go off every time it goes dark. So four of these will be, um, yeah. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Game locked, whoa. Okay, that was some major lag just there. It's gotta be a sign. <laughs> All right, so on that note, I think I need to wrap it up and get out of here. Um, and between now and the next episode, I'll spend a bit of time on this redstone and try and make it all nice and pretty and clean and yeah, there's a fair bit of work to be done, but yeah, that's what you get when you die halfway through a project. It sucks to recover. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching and until next time, stay awesome, guys. All right, see you guys. Cheers.